ओके अमित वेलकम टू माइंड वर्क एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन यूर ह्यूज अचीवमेंट ऑफ आई एम लखनऊ The Thank interview you, is aimed at uh, guiding students who will be appearing for CAT 23 this year. So tell us, some, uh, Amit, about your uh, preparation process. So this was uh, actually my second CAT attempt. Uh, first one, I it was in 2021. I was able to get the calls, but uh, not able to convert any. So I gave a serious attempt in 2022, uh, wherein I got calls and uh, with the Uh, proper guidance through mind work i was also able to convert colleges also and currently i have selected i am lucknow as my college okay so congrats again on that and uh, so when you prepared for the uh, started preparing for cat uh, 22 what was your strength area and what was your weakness so my strength area was uh, quant section okay. uh, i was uh, very much versed with everything uh, my weakest section i would say was uh, lrda section okay because uh, i was uh, uh, not able to convert uh, the answers in time i was able to solve the questions but mm-hmm. uh, timing was my main issue okay so i've been following arun sharma sir's video mm-hmm. so wherein he told that that uh, we need to get at least uh, 400 sets of lrdi to get a grasp uh, and the experience of all the sets so that's right. what i followed and that helped me a lot Okay, so basically solving uh, 400 sets helped you get a good score in LRDI, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, quant was your strength? How about verbal? How did you prepare for verbal? Verbal was okay for me, sir. Yes, okay. I did. Uh, I again followed Arun Sharma, sir. So okay. what he said was the most important part was RC, mm-hmm. and uh, getting a gist of RC was for most the most important thing was uh, reading articles. because okay. uh, that would get us into different genres we right. are asked in cat exam mm-hmm. okay so that's what i have prepared for right so uh, when we talk about the interview process you must have given uh, some interviews which all colleges interview calls you had yes sir so i had a cap interview okay uh, i also gave interview in i am ahmedabad for fabm program okay i am lucknow for agri business program i am mm-hmm. amit sir and i am rohit No, I also appeared for IFT uh, interview as well. Okay, so which was the trickiest one out of these? Trickiest interview. So trickiest one, uh, uh, I would not say it was a uh, trickiest one, but uh, the Kozi Kur. I also appeared for Kozi Kur interview as well. So mm-hmm. it was kind of a stress interview. Okay. Uh, but I was already prepared for it. They tried to stress us out in a, in their manner, but so, uh, it was all right. What kind of questions were there when uh, which you feel uh, were stressed upon? So they basically stressed upon the answer which we gave. They okay. used to form questions from our answers itself. Okay. So basically, the you feel that the entire pattern, or the, you had other friends also who had similar experience with time Kozi code that the yes, interview yes. was. Okay. So you must have yes, interacted sir. with people, and uh, that was the general outlook, right? Yes, sir. Fine. So, uh, if you talk about uh, the entire prep journey, how long did it take uh, uh, for to you to uh, get a get a good score? How long did you prepare? Six months, eight months, or one year? Yes, sir. So uh, after CAT 2021, I had a big gap. I again mm-hmm. started preparing in at from around uh, March itself. Okay. So it took me around uh, uh, from June to July to get a gist of all the uh, syllabus. Mm-hmm. Then after I started taking mocks. seriously uh, okay. from then i worked on uh, analyzing mocks and pre- giving mocks regularly okay so basically mocks uh, were something which uh, helped you get a good score how many mocks did you give roughly and yes, when did you sir. start taking mocks i gave around uh, i started taking mocks from july itself okay and uh, in the beginning it was uh, weekly then it moved on to twice a week mm-hmm. and uh, in the month of uh, October and November, I almost gave uh, mocks daily. So okay. in total, I gave around fifty, sixty mocks. Fifty, sixty mocks. And uh, yes, so, if you if you talk about uh, taking a mock and analyzing a mock, because analysis of a mock is also very important, yes, which sir. mostly students uh, do not focus on. So, how much time were you spending on analyzing a particular mock? So it was uh, generally around uh, two to two point five hours in okay. analyzing one mock, sir. Okay. 
and uh, how did you analyze were you also analyzing the questions which were correct or only the questions which were wrong so first of all i went to the questions which i attempted and got them wrong okay. because that was that was the point where i thought i would lag and that would be a negative for me mm-hmm. so first of all i went for that portion second i went for the portion which i might have done but missed because of the time constraint okay and finally i looked at the questions which i left okay okay so uh, was your score increasing every mock or was it a straight line or you you saw ups and downs in your uh, because when the exam approaches we face this query from lot of students that uh, in the last mock i was scoring good but the last three mocks i have not been scoring so what was your pattern like sir it was uh, uh, up and down as you said sir Uh, okay. It's never a fixed pattern or never a rising pattern, as mm-hmm. the, as some people say. Because even if the last mocks I scored sixty seventy percent, I I can remember that. Okay, so that is a natural process because students feel that uh, since they are working hard, studying every day, every week, their mock score should improve, but that will not happen. Yes, sir. That is what I t- try <laughs> to tell them. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. You have to be consistent. You have to believe that okay, you are gaining knowledge. you are gaining experience and eventually it will all translate Absolutely. into a good score right so that is the uh, approach yes sir yes sir so um, how did you like arun sir's classes and what is your uh, view on uh, his uh, method of teaching so i would say arun sir's classes are just phenomenal because i have been following him for a very long time right and uh, what he does is he opens up every topic in front of the student like mm-hmm. it's a whole book i was pretty weak in uh, lrda section and while seeing him solve questions with such an ease it was really impressive for me to look and that is what i followed and that is what got me to score in the lrda section and get a call okay so basically your lrda issues were solved by following arun sir's uh, uh, videos yes, and yes, uh, his methods right fine fine so uh, yes. you were a student so you will be aware that uh, arun sir is available uh, for the students and whenever you have a query regarding a preparation process or anything else you can just uh, leave a miss call or you can text him he'll reply yes so, yes absolutely we also have um, groups in whatsapp and telegram also right right so the mentorship provided by him is uh, very helpful for students that is what we get from uh, the feedback yes, which we yes, get yes absolutely right so if you have to talk about uh, the uh, Uh, about some key tips which you would want to give to the cat 22 aspirants people 23 aspirants people who are uh, preparing this year so what advice will you give them to ace a uh, ace cat and get a good score so first advice i would give is that uh, cat is a conceptual exam so what we need to do it is uh, brush up our basic concepts on every topic right second advice i would give is to start giving mocks early right and third advice i would give is that have the experience of uh, multiple types of sets in which are asked in the questions these three are the most important uh, advice i would like to give to 23 aspirants right so i'm sure your advice will be taken by students and they'll uh, perform well they'll definitely do well and uh, most people will be starting uh, right now after the exams are ending so yes, this sir. interview will help them guide in the right direction and obviously they can reach out to mindworks and reach out to us uh, for any queries they have right so thank you amit yes. and uh, thank you, and we wish you uh, all the best for your uh, am lucknow journey uh, even thank when you, you go so to much, b school sir. yes even when you go to b b school if you have any queries regarding the college life because we all have done mba and uh, we as uh, have experienced that so we definitely guide you there as well and uh, this will be a start of a great career for you so thank you once thank again you. for giving your time all the best thank you so much sir thank you thank